One, two, one, hop. That's a sweet tune called the Star of Munster, and it's a really commonly known tune. I wanted to use it today to talk about this real bowing. And so this bowing I've actually learned from two, two different teachers, and I've, and I've heard people talk about it a lot. It works really, really well for reels. And it is called 332. So 332 meaning three separated, three slurred, and then two separated. Okay, and if you're really kind of new to reels or you're wanting to really improve your bowing, I would recommend taking a moment to write this down and start out with this. This is just a measure of eight eighth notes split into two groups. So we've got two groups of four, all right, and this is how we would count a reel one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a. Sometimes reels are written in 4-4, four, four, and the only difference between 4-4 four, four and 2-2 two, two is kind of the speed and the feel. So usually 2-2 two, two ends up going faster, not always, but in reels, 2-2 two, two is pretty fast. And it's got a 2 feel instead of a 4 feel, meaning we only have 2 accents instead of 4. Okay, so write this down, and once you have those 8 eighth notes written down, I'll show you where the slur goes. And I find having this, um, this visual really helpful, especially if... This is kind of your first time trying to really work on your bowing. I, act, I almost started drawing it there, so ignore that dot. But it's three separated, first three eighth notes are separated, the next three eighth notes are slurred, and then the next two are separated. So we have this da da da, di da 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 da. If you recognize that from the tune, it goes da da da, di da 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 da. And that pattern, I actually tried to stay with that the whole time. There's a couple spots where you can move the slur, Really, this slur could go here, it could go anywhere, but this really um, does a great job of outlining the accent pattern, okay? And the accent pattern puts the accent on the third eighth note and the seventh eighth note, okay? And that's where we want those accents to lie because we're accenting what are called the off beats. One E and a, two E and a, one, I'll draw those counts underneath if that helps. One E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. So that, if you're kind of a mathematical person, that is how you would count that, okay? And we count it like they're 16th notes because we are um, counting in two instead of counting in four. If we were counting it in four, we, you can totally count it in four. It would just look like this. One and two and three and four and okay and if you're counting it in four you're accenting beat two and beat four but really this first way of counting it is more accurate because we, we're going to end up feeling it in two when it goes fast enough okay so i'll leave this up here for a second you can pause and write that down um, either just the top part if you just want to have that visual without all those counts underneath or if you find the counts helpful you can add those and now I'll just go through the tune and <clears throat> show you how that pattern lays on this tune. And something else really important, I'm actually just going to cover up the counts because they can, they can be a little confusing to look at, but something else really important to note about reels is that we usually actually start, <clears throat> we start on a pickup. And often, and in this tune, we're going to have a one beat pickup, or I guess it's half a beat if you're counting in two, but it's two eighth notes. So when we start this tune, it's going to go... Di da 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 da, di da 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 da, di da da da. Okay, and so that ends up starting on that accented beat. All right, so it's gonna be and a one e and a two e and a and 
and a one e and a two e 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 and a one e and so we start in that middle of the beat on the and okay so that means we're going to start on those two separated notes so the first two notes are actually the end of that three three two pattern three separated three slurred two separated we're starting on those two separated notes right here those are the two separated notes and then we have three separated okay so really if it helps some people like to think about it as five separated and then three slurred and that pattern is going to continue the whole time two three three slurred two separated okay so I'll do this now measure by measure. I'm going to I'm just going to have those two first notes be all by themselves. And then we have 3 3 2. 3 3 2. 3 3 2. And you see those are actually in that last measure. Those are the beginning of the next phrase. They kind of are um, offset like that. The phrases are offset by one beat or those two eighth notes. So we can actually move the pattern like that. That's how I personally hear the phrases would be five separated and then three slurred. That's how I hear the phrases like this. Five. Second part, same idea. Starting on that pickup, this is the pickup, two, and then three, and then slur. Kind of super awkward to listen to but that's that that was three three and two breaking it down i'll now do eight notes at a time those that's the pickup it it's part of the last measure of the first half but it's really a lead into the next part and then eight three three and two sorry i won't stop here and Sorry. That one's tricky. I'll do that measure again. And. 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 And there, the pattern breaks because there's these quarter notes. And when you have a quarter note, you kind of have, excuse me, you have to slur into it or it messes up the pattern because it's a longer note. So. You could break it like that, but it sounds kind of silly, so. So, I'll break down the second half now in that five and three pattern, which is how I really think this the, um, the phrases lay mostly. So we've got five and three, starting with the pickup, and then it ends up being all those five separated notes and then the slur. So it would sound like this. And, 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 and,
hand. No, it goes back to F sharp, sorry. And. 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 If you're just starting to get into these real bowing patterns, that is the foundation to all these other successful ornaments and things you can spice that up with. That bowing pattern, 332 or 5 and 3, really, really um, helped me get my bowing pattern in order and just have something to fall back on that sounds correct and really fits the swing and the accent pattern. So if that helps you, go ahead and like, subscribe. I'm trying to monetize my YouTube channel. I'm about halfway to a thousand fo followers, which is when I start can start making ad money. So I would really appreciate if you followed. And please let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to make videos to answer questions. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.